Hello everyone, this is Motbot. this is the Pentacraft server, and this is episode 29. So I'm here at my base, this is where we worked last episode, I can't walk like this real- Oh, uh, uh, this is what we worked on in last episode, this isn't gonna work well. Uh, okay, here we go. I made some slight changes to it, you can see now I got the armor stands in with the enchanted iron. And there's also some chests back there, I didn't have those in last episode, all the corners looked right like this one, but without the- uh, without the armor stand, so let's walk back here, and this isn't even going to be possible, is it? Uh, let's go like this, so I had it right. Let's check my armor back on before something blows me up. Uh, so let's see, let's look at the sign. Thank you to all 50 subs for supporting me from Mott. So, dedicating uh, this part of the room to my 50 subs. Uh, one of these and one of these will be dedicated to the next big thing, I think, that happens either on the server or on the channel as well. Uh, maybe episode 50 or maybe... 100 subs or something like that uh, and that's where I'll dedicate those so I'll just use this corner uh, for now and this says 25 stacks contributed to 25 subs thank you from Mott. 25 stacks of things that have gone on in this series so I'm gonna go over these quick and there's another just as well for the other 25 uh, but uh, stacks of different fish for the fish farm that we built that was really early the pumpkin farm stack of those that was also really early uh, the blaze rods only two episodes ago, I believe. Um, and so that's where that comes from. And then we've got my mob spawner that's way out there. Uh, but that was right around probably eight or nine episodes ago, possibly even more. Uh, but there's a stack of each one of those drops, uh, except for spider eyes, because I actually don't have that many of those. We built the slime farm, so there's those. The cow farm, there's each one of those that's actually disabled right now, so I could put this room in. But priorities, right? Uh, so then the gold farm that I built stack of gold nuggets. Uh, the Enderman farm that I didn't actually build, but, you know, we have it. Basically, we have it. <laughs> There's the chicken farms that I picked up at spawn. Fixed up? Fixed up, that's what I meant to say. I don't know if I said that. Might have said that. Uh, stack of each of those. And then for the rail system, uh, a stack of each of these rails. Let's go over to this other chest. The sign says the same thing, but we go in here. I haven't actually quite finished this thing yet, uh, because I haven't done that much in my series yet. Uh, I haven't done 50 things, uh, but I'll keep adding to this until I get this chest uh, up to the other 25 stacks that I need. So there's the leaves from the prank the Bobble Brain pulled on us, where he basically turned my base into a giant bush. Then there's the prank that we got back at him where we built a giant mushroom Although these are brown mushrooms, they aren't red mushrooms, but I have brown mushrooms. Uh, going on, the red stained clay, um, the block that I use mostly in my base. For the casino, a stack of diamonds. For the villagers, a stack of emeralds. Um, then when I was building the... I'll go like this, actually. When I was building the blaze farm, I used two big blocks, and that was nether brick and the weighted pressure plate. So there's those diorite. The slime farm is pretty much all diorite. Stone slabs, the gold farm, pretty much all that. This room is prismarine, very heavily prismarine. I am a redstone guy, so there's redstone and redstone torches. And then finally the andesite, which is another block that recently I've been using quite a lot. So, to see what I'm going to be doing in this episode, we're actually going to be staying at my base. Um, haven't done a lot around here recently except for that, uh, so it's good to be back. And at least inside, I've done a few things outside. But we're going to be expanding this wall here uh, to put in a uh, smeltery. So it's not going to be a fully automatic smeltery, but it's going to be fairly close, and it definitely is going to look uh, pretty good. But let me break these here. Uh, skulls can be a little bit of a pain to work with here, and then I'll think I broke that on accident. There we go. Uh, these guys are going to have to come out, or at least they're going to have to move up a block, which is I think what I'm going to I would rather do uh, because I don't want to get rid of these completely, but we'll just do that. Uh, for now, so I can realize what height I actually have to put that at, because I'm not too sure um, yet what, where that has to be. Um, but I think I could just go maybe something like that, and then I don't even have any other stuff on me. Well, let me just quick empty this stuff here. Uh, we can keep that on me, because I'm going to be using quartz, I think. We'll chuck into this random chest here, uh, some more furnaces, and then we'll actually we'll chuck these in as well. I'll just set these down here, so I remember to put those back out, because I like to display those. And then over in this chest back here, I have got some stuff that I want to build with. So there's hoppers and furnace and chests. And then just in case, because I definitely will need some trap chests, there's the tripwire hooks for that. Uh, I'll go ahead. Uh, red stained clay I want to use because you know, that's the theme I've been going with in my base. Uh, as well as the gray I've been using for floors, except for this floor uh, right here. I'm going to have to find actually a way to link those up because I'm not quite sure 
yet I might have to change this floor in here uh, just a bit. Glowstone for lighting, and then the birchwood that you would see right here, I will try to continue somewhere on the wall. So how am I going to do this? So let's see, I'm going to need... Basically what I want to do, I want to have... I, I can demonstrate without hoppers. So I'll have these two chests here, and that'll be where I put the coal into. And then that can power... I can have the hoppers that point down beneath that, and then that'll go like right there. And then I'll have stuff below that. So I can actually pull this down one more block um, so that the chests are at this height. And then the hopper would be right here. And then the furnace would be uh, right there. And then all the hoppers would point along. So I would have two here, and then two trap chests, and then two regular chests. And the reason I can do that is because uh, two hoppers coming out of it will split up the coal that's in it evenly. So these two will have the same, as well as these two, and these two, and these two. So actually, if I go back, and I'm just going to use one chest, I think, for the output. Uh, I'll just go ahead and clear up a couple of these blocks here. Uh, go right like that. There has to be no block above that chest. So then after that, I can go... See, I'll push these back into the wall one. So we'll break all these things back here. And that is where uh, the things will go. The chest, that is. And let me just run along there. Uh, so I'll go to there. Those two will be trapped, and then those two, and then those two will be trapped on the end. So one, two, three, four. Uh, and then we'll just check some of those in there. I changed this up as well. By the way, now it's my actual face and not my old face. Uh, so let's see. These are the trap chests. We'll go right like that, right like that. And then that will be that. We can have the furnaces then at the site. Um, no, sorry. We're going to have to have the furnaces at the site. Oop, I didn't mean to open that. There we go. And then we'll have hoppers right below those. Uh, so if we go ahead and grab the hoppers like this, go one right there. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get in there, am I? Huh. All right, place that. And then carry this right the way along here. There we go. And then this will be a furnace. And now anything that gets processed, so let's say that goes up there. I don't have anything that I can use to smelt it. Oh, well, here, we'll do this. Kind of a waste of a log, but it works how it works. Go ahead, that'll go right through there. And then you'll get the output. You'll see it real quickly. If you were paying close enough attention, you'll see it said stone. And now it's in there. So now, just in case I actually need cobblestone, I'm going to just go ahead and break that. Uh, but yeah, so that's all that'll work. And then these chests will have constant coal supply. Uh, and I need to get back there, actually, so I can place all of the hoppers in. Uh, and this will just allow me to have lots of coal uh, stored up. Let's see, where am I? I need one there. Here we go. So let's just grab these, check those all the way like this. It's going to be kind of a pain, I think, to uh, get the blocks back here that I'm going to need to do. All right, so we'll do that. All right, so I'm going to replicate this on this side, then we'll see where we're looking at for uh, decorating this place. So there actually wasn't that much to this room as far as decorating goes, so I just went ahead and did it off camera. And I think it actually looks okay. This back wall, I'm a little bit concerned about, and actually I need to uh, fix the few um, stone back there. I didn't see that before, um, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's just a few hoppers in the way. Uh, but yeah, the rest of the room I think looks okay. It's just that back wall uh, that I'm a bit, um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't even know what I want to do with the back wall. I was going to put a banner there, but I think it's just too skinny for this. And I also don't like to shove my banners everywhere. Like it works here because it's on the red. Um, but yeah, so anyways, the way I link this room up with this room, uh, the floor that is, is through this light gray clay. I swapped out the orange that was here before for this. And I don't know. I mean, I, I like it. But I don't know if the orange was better. I think this might be better just because it links up like that. I might want to change that back there too. I don't know. But yeah, so that's the room for the furnaces. I'll go ahead now and... Let's see. How many furnaces do I actually have left? I have a ton of furnaces. I've got 57 furnaces. Uh, so to get a stack, I need 7 more. Uh, 7 times 8 is 56. So I need 8 more pieces on here. There we go. And then I'll just go ahead and craft up 7 more of those. Got a stack of furnaces. And then I'll run into here. And donate a stack of furnaces to, to the little shrine. Here we go. So now I want to go ahead. I'm going to go on the other side of the room. Uh, where the blaze... Not the blaze, the, uh, the brewing stands are right now. And I'm going to basically duplicate this room over here, except there's going to be a little bit of a difference because if you put this right below an armor stand, uh, the hopper that is, 
then it'll suck up the water bottles before the potion's done. Uh, so there's a little bit of redstone that I'm going to involve on that side, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do the room, and then I'll show you uh, what I want to do uh, with the redstone. All right, so it actually is really similar, uh, very similar color scheme. This is a little bit skinnier of a room because I didn't need to put chests back there, um, but it is all right. This will be covered up in a moment. I just need to be able to get back there uh, to do the redstone. Uh, so all the hoppers point straight into this chest here, and then this chest will just be what I use to store whatever I need to make the uh, potions. So maybe like some gunpowder, uh, gas tears, basically everything up here, um, or even... Uh, just water bottles will probably be the easiest since those take up quite a lot of space. Um, but to do this here, let me actually demonstrate with a regular bottle. So if I have a bottle, and if I put it into the brewing stand with the hopper below it, put it in, right away it gets sucked out, and now it comes into here. There it is. Had me worried for a moment there. Um, but if I power it, the hopper that is, Oops. So now the hopper has power. Now it's locked. So now if I put that in there, now it doesn't go anywhere. So what I need to do is with this switch, power all these hoppers, and then when I see that they're done, uh, I'll just go ahead and flip the switch, and then they will all filter back into here. So I'm going to put the lever, I think, on this block. I'm going to put a redstone lamp behind it so I know when it's, uh, when it's on and when it's off. Ah, uh, there we go. So when it's on will be, I think, the lock... Yeah, so when it's on, it's locked. So I need to find out where that block is here. And this is going to be extremely simple, but it's kind of useful, really. Uh, so if I could just have a few more blocks back like this, then I can just take the dust back here like that. So if I go like this, here we go. Then I can just take a repeater right like this, point it into that block. Uh, so that's powering this one here. So now if I put that bottle in here, oops, I, get I forgot to turn the thing on. Contraption doesn't work unless it's on good redstone tip. There we go. And now it doesn't go anywhere because it's powering. And that repeater gets power from uh, that block that is weakly powered from the dust on top of it. So let's take that out and then unpower that. And then, actually we'll leave it powered so we can see just how far the signal strength can go. Uh, we also need to get that one, so we'll just go right like that. And then it's just dust straight up, or straight along here. And that goes up to this. I did find out how long that goes. And then just repeaters all the way like this. And then you can test it um, by turning this on. It is on. And then going to this last one here, chucking a bottle. Oops, that's a hopper. Oh, well, that works. Yeah, the hopper is the thing we're testing. But yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. I can test it in the brewing stand just in case. But there it goes. So yeah, so that is um, the redstone for this side. The same switch will power this side. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera because it really is quite simple. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And then I'll go ahead and I'll be right back with you. <laughs> Check it out, I got it to work. There's uh, there's water here. This is the source block, and it doesn't flow into the room, which is great, uh, because it flows into that hole back there, uh, because water looks for the nearest hole before it flows over uh, like it usually would, because this is a hole block here. It sees this as a flat surface, and it sees that as a hole, so it goes there first. Uh, but So I can just fill up my water bottle from here, and this is on right now. And the reason I show this, that doesn't go anywhere, is because the water is actually right where the redstone is, so I had to do something a little weird. Uh, I powered the block from below, so this is the block uh, next to the hopper. The hopper's on top of this uh, gray clay there. So there's a double torch inverter like that. And then this goes into here with the dust running along the back. I had the dust going straight across here, but then it actually uh, created a burnout clock because I forgot that I had a whole block on top of that uh, torch there. Uh, so that didn't work. I flipped the lever and suddenly I heard a little, like a sizzle. Uh, that was a little worrying because I thought red or uh, water got back here. Um, but it's actually all okay. Uh, which is good. And now I can't get out of a hole, which is not good. Come on. No! Oh! Come on. Hit. Eh. There we go. Uh, back around the front here. If we get out here, you can see then if I flip this lever now. And this was when I heard the sizzle before. It was, was when it went off and the uh, the dust turned off and it started creating that uh, clock there. But now the thing is gone. There's nothing here. And it ended up uh, right in here. So, that is awesome. And now, since I have the this part of it done. I'm going to go ahead and craft up, let's see, let's just open up my inventory here. Uh, let's see, I'm going to grab a stack of these. And then I need three stacks of cobblestone. And we're going to craft a stack of uh, these guys. The, uh, the brewing stands. Words. Okay, so there's that. I need two more stacks. There we go. There's one and two. 
And then while I'm here, I'll just toss that in. Crafting bench, here we go. So go 987. And then drag that right there. So there's the stack of brewing stands. And then, oh, oh there. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and run that up and put that into the chest. And that only leaves us with five more stacks. Yep. That, oh, five more stacks. There we go. So now I actually need to get everything moved around. So I'll, I have a ton of coal here. Uh, this one. A lot of coal. That is, let's see, 9, 3 is 12, thir 13 stacks of coal ore. Uh, and then all these blocks. I'm going to go ahead and take this Fortune 3 pick here and get through all that coal and then start uh, dispensing it through these these chests here. Oh man, that's going to be a lot of coal. I'm not going to fill these chests. I'm probably going to use about half of it. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and get all of the brewing stuff over here. Uh, but I'm going to time lapse all of the mining of that coal and then I'll be right back with you. stacks of coal. That is awesome. I have two levels, but I'm actually a pretty high level. But yeah, so there's two stacks of coal now in each chest. Uh, you can see it. Uh, there's one stack here, and then there's, of course, the one stack in here. These have all uh, filtered out, and these ones back here have as well. Uh, but yeah, so I also put the uh, skulls here, and I think that's actually kind of cool. Three skulls and then three villagers behind it. If I could put these skulls on the villagers, that would be... I think that'd be awesome. Um, but that's not quite an option. Uh, but yeah. So that's, uh, that's where that is. Move the ender chest up there, and I think it actually looks better up there instead of having the buttons. Uh, not sure why I didn't think of that before, but I like the way uh, this is looking. 
I tried some different things in the floor as well, and I'm just going to stick with this. This is what I like. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's everything. We added two hallways in this episode, uh, which meant two more stacks into the dedication room. I'm not quite sure what I want to call that yet. Dedication room? Memorial room? Not really a memorial. Um, but yeah. So this was, I think, an uh, episode accomplished. Uh, uh, let me know what you think of these rooms, if I could add anything. Uh, but anyways, this has been MopBot, and I'm out. Me. Bye, guys.